Hi everybody, it's Queen Pam Elon QP. I hope you're nice and warm wherever you are because uh, we've got snow here in Kentucky and I am going to be comparing TCW Shimmering Gold Gesso to Daniel Smith Acrylic Gesso in Iridescent Gold. Now straight out of the bottle you can see that they are different colors and the first thing I want to do is paint them out. So I have here my swatch book and I'm going to do the Daniel Smith Now you can see how um, fluid it is. If I get it all over my hands. Doing it here in the top. To work it into the brush. And then at the bottom is white gesso, black gesso, and then no gesso. See how well it covers. And it's pretty much one coat and it's really not covering. Let's bring you up close and let you see how it looks wet and we'll do some other tests. So, what I want to do while I've still got it on the brush is put some down on a bigger piece on some black paper. You can see me painting it out. This was just one brush full. And we'll look at that on the black. Well, they move in the jar compared to each other. Daniel Smith is much more fluid, but the Daniel Smith is brand new today, whereas I've had the TCW for a while. Okay, I'm just going to do quick spritz of the brush off to the side to kind of clean it off. And then I'm going to dab it off on my brush, switch it to a dry side and so it'll start the same way for the TCW. Get the brush into the top so I get the brush really good and wet. Looks a red or gold. Then the Daniel Smith and they're both kind of sheer. Whereas I thought gesso should be dry. This one is thicker so it is holding on to the brush a little better. But it's it's sheerer than the Daniel Smith unless because this one is dry. Oh I'm sorry off camera. One brush full is all I'm doing here. And 
there you can see in a bigger swatch on the black um, this one looks more gold but it's dry the Daniel Smith looks more gold but it's dry to the naked eye but we're going to give it a moment to get as dry I'm going to put the lid back on the TCW and clean my brush the same way see if the cleanup is just as easy zoom out a little bit because I keep going off camera and maybe this will keep me on camera. I'm going to keep gun them both so that we'll know they're dry. They're dry. And the test Daniel Smith has a little more texture to it. Yeah, especially off here on the side where I can feel the difference between the paint and the paper. And the Daniel Smith appears to have covered the paper a little better on this black paper. And here, I'll come back in, make sure I'm on. Mm, it's hard to say. The, the white gesso looks like it's completely covered. Not so much here. Because of the shine, I'm still going to say the um, Daniel Smith gold gesso is a little more opaque so but with the price difference being what the price difference is I think I remember this was around $16 for 8 ounces which makes it more expensive really than the 16 ounces for 25 so price being what it is, I'd go with the Daniel Smith if I had $25. If I only had $16, I guess I'm going with this because, and it also depends on whether you want a red or gold or a more yellow gold. So as always, I leave you in the hands of the creator. Bye-bye.